answer. Everyone. Who do you know that's moving into the area? Who do you know that's moving out? If you have your bio done on the internet, if you have your testimonials lined up, if you have all that stuff, then you can you can address whatever questions come back to you from that from that from that inquiry. All right. Um, you could even and, and I've seen people get aggressive, walk down the street in the open house day, right? right? Did you ever hear that door knocking? It's an old trick, right? Go to ten houses this way, ten houses this way. Tell them you're having an open house, and while they're staying in front, say. You looking to buy, sell, buy, looking to sell in the next 60, 30, 90 days? Would you be willing to give me a call if you do? Who cares if they say no? All you're doing is turn our ticket or activator on. SW, 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 SW. The SW, 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 SW. Does anybody get in line? Give me a guess based on our conversation so far what that might mean. Say no. That's this one. We're going to go back to this fear of. Of asking for referrals, what people are going to either accept you, reject you, right? That's the bottom line. You're hoping that they accept you. Well, guess what? Some will, some won't. So what? Someone's waiting. Remove yourself from the result. Completely remove yourself from the result because it doesn't matter. Some will, some won't. So what? Someone's waiting. You don't know if that next person is sitting there. Their, their, their daughter is just about to buy a house. They really don't like the person they started working with. You call and they're like, oh my God, Joanne, I, I, thank you so much for calling. My daughter's buying a house and I really want you to talk to her because I'm afraid she might be making a wrong decision. I don't know if they're giving her the right advice. Some will, some won't, so what? Someone's waiting. Everybody ready for uh, referral roulette? But so referral roulette, I was telling these guys, Dave, is here in my contact list, I have who knows how many names, maybe 1,500. Um, and every time I get a phone number, I put it in my contact list. So this contact list is from A to Z is full of family members, friends, past customers, customers never really did business with, uh, coaches, uh, real estate agents, mortgage guys. It's all here, right? What I'm going to do. Is I'm going to scroll. Who wants to who wants to be the person to stop the ref, the referral roulette? Anybody? Yeah. Anthony. Yeah. When I say when you say stop, I'll stop. Right. Wherever it lands, I'm going to pick a name off that screen and I'm going to call him and ask him for a referral right now. Okay. All right. Tell me when to stop. Stop. Okay. Whew. Who is it? My, well, I have a, a bunch to choose from. Okay. I'll call David Angles. Okay? All right. Forgive me while I have to calm down here for a second. If you guys think asking for referrals is hard, try asking for them at random with a bunch of people watching. Hello, this is Ken. Hey, Dave, how you doing, man? How's your day going? Not a whole lot. Listen, the reason I'm calling, um, it's not, there's nothing to do with your house, but periodically throughout the transaction, um, I like to, you know, make these requests. Um, Dave, you like me, are always trying to help improve the situation of your friends and family members, I'm sure. And that's what I'm always trying to do. And one of the things I do is make sure that you know that if you have any friends, family members, or coworkers that need my help, that you know that you can call me to, to help them, right? All right. I have a question. Who do you know that's moving into the area, moving out of the area, that's renting, that might need to save some money on an interest rate, or looking to take some money out to pay for college or something like that? Is 
tell you what, yeah, you can't take advantage. That's no big deal, no big deal. But do me a favor in the next week or, or 10 days when you're out there, if you come across anybody in this situation, moving into the area, out of the area, it says they got a high interest rate, because you're in the process of buying a mortgage, you're actually going to notice these kind of things more than an average person. So when you're out there and you hear that stuff, make sure you give them my card. Do you have enough of my cards? Did I give you enough? All right. I'll make sure you get more. I'll make sure you get more. But either way, you have my number. It's in your cell phone, right? All right, cool. All right. Well, listen, I can't thank you enough for taking my call. And, you know, like I said, we'll, uh, I'll, I'll wait for you if you have anybody that needs my help. And then we'll talk again probably in the next couple of days. Yeah. Okay.